Okay. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. How are we all? Right, can everybody hear me? No? All right, Merry Christmas. Happy Boxing Day. I don't know if I got that right or not. But has everyone had a good day, good Christmas? Yeah, we all happy? Well, I thought there was a great scrapping point today, wasn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Did we do well? Yes. Yes, we definitely did. Um, what we're going to do first, um, before we do the rest of the presentations, I think, as, as you may be able to see, we've got the whole of the squad has come in this evening, ladies and gentlemen, every single one of them. And just to get us in the mood, and before we get the man of the match up here and we talk to the mascots and everything, um, seeing as it's Christmas, and it is Christmas, it's halfway through the season, I think that we should have a couple of words from our glorious manager, the one and only, Mr. Neil Hardley. Give us a song. <laughs> Good, listen, um, I thought it was uh, really important for us all. We all decided the players, the squad, first of all, with it being Christmas, we wanted to come out and see everybody and uh, just be uh, in your eyesight so that we can say happy Christmas to everybody. So on behalf of all the players and all the staff, Merry Christmas to you all and thanks for your support. The, the, the second reason um, for, for us all being here and something we really wanted to address was um, obviously our last home game didn't go according to plan in many ways, both the, the, the second half and, and the result, and, and what happened after the game uh, with the man and the match award, and, and us not being able to, well, us not turning up for the match, man and the match award. Now, that was not, not George Frankham's fault, that was everybody's fault for poor logistical planning. The game and the day couldn't have gone any worse. And um, just the timings and everything that we hadn't thought about um, meant that, that we didn't turn up uh, for the man in the match. Now, a lot of things have been sort of said and, and a lot of people were hurt by that. And we wanted to come and stand in front of you and say, we do take everything seriously. We know how hard you guys have worked for this club for 13 years. And on the back of the great news we'd had on the Thursday, it, uh, it certainly was a flat Saturday afternoon. Uh, we can only, as a group, apologise for, for our non-show, but it doesn't mean that we don't care about the club, and it doesn't mean that we devalue everything. We just cocked it up, for want of a better word, logistically. So we're all here to apologise to you and say that we do honestly care greatly about this club, and this set of boys work their socks off every single day for this club, I promise you. So. I've got to follow that, ladies and gentlemen. We should have done that at the end, wouldn't you? They've all stayed really interested and key. Right, well, before we get the man of the match up here, Neil, today, uh, I think everybody watched the game. It, it was a fantastic, brilliant effort by the whole team, wasn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 men against 11. We all know, we, we, we can't guess what the score would have been 11 against 11, but my honest opinion is we'd have stuffed them. Don't you think? Yeah. So what do you think, 10 against 11, how brilliant were the boys today? Fucking excellent. We, we, the boys were fantastic, you know, you always have to do that extra man's work. Um, and I think you can see, you know, the boys that came off during the game were out on their feet. Um, we've got to try and carry that on now in two days, uh, which is never easy to get your legs back after that. But uh, both tactically and physically, they, they were immense. And uh, I think it's important to look back. Um, you know, our home formers of late hasn't quite been what we was hoping for. And I think it's important to look back and say, I think we've lost two in ten, two games out of ten, two games out of eleven. And whilst we haven't won in the last seven, most of them have been draws. Um, the boys have had a couple of bad 45 minutes, uh, the start at Newport and the end at Stevenage. But bar that, by and large, the effort, the energy, the commitment's been there. And today... It's brilliant for me to stand up here and tell you how much we care about the club and it hurt what happened after the Stevenage game. To then see that, I think it backs up me standing up here and telling you that because the boys were magnificent and whoever wins man in a match, they all deserve it. And I think, 
I think that just about sums everything up. I think we've had a Christmas message from the Gaffries explain what's going on here. I think we should crack on with the rest of the celebrations, don't you, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. Okay, let's let's relieve the manager of the stage. Right, sling your up, Gaffer. Thank you. Yeah. Round of applause for you, lovely. Right, are we going to get a verse of that going properly here, or not? Come on, let's uh, come on, let's give it a Neil Hardley. <laughs> Even the team are singing it. That take oh dear. Anyway, right, so let's get on with things. Right, our match sponsors today. Now, for those of you that don't know, we did a raffle to see who was going to win the.